Hey everyone, Chicks Productions here, bringing you a video on the All-Star Game set. I'm here to uh, discuss how much everything is, how much it will be, how much... Yeah. So, hold on, I'm trying to get my calculator up. Because my phone's like broken right now. Okay. <coughs> So let's see how much All-Star game collectibles are first. Because <clears throat> we have to uh, see how much all collectibles are for this. All-Star game collectibles. Oh, yeah, 800 coins. There we go. <sighs> pop up. I have one pop up. Come on. They were just popping up a second ago. For under 8. Yeah. Alright, so 7k. You could buy for 7k. Oh, I want to try to get the minimum possible for this. So... I bought one for seven thousand. So okay, two of these to get Larkin would be fourteen k. To get Tavares, it would be twenty eight k. To get Bork, it would be. Forty nine thousand to get Sakic, it would be seventy K to get Voracek, it would be wait no. I think I might did that wrong. Alright, so seven so that's fourteen thousand coins to get Larkin. Um, that's, I think it's 14,000 for Tavares, too. That makes sense. And then, so that's 28. And then, twenty-eight thousand for Bork. Just him. So let's let's add what we have. If you want to go up to Bork, you have to pay Sorry, I had it and then I messed up. So twenty eight thousand plus twenty eight thousand. So it'll be 56,000 to get Bork. And if you want Sakic, you're going to have to pay 10 collectibles. Correct? Yeah. So that is. So 126,000 for Sakic. And if you want Voracek, you're going to have to pay. I think around two two hundred thousand. I'll see. Two hundred and twenty. Looks like two ten. One ninety nine. That's pretty good. It's good. You probably ever would get another one ninety nine. All right. So plus one hundred and ninety nine. <coughs> So 325,000 about roughly for the entire set. So now you can say say you only want to use the Voric. No, the only use the Sakic and Voracek. That's what I'm going to do. So you sell Bork. Oh shit. Um say you sell Bork. Uh, 
70k. So you sell them for 70k. Minus 70,000. So now the set only costs you 255,000. And then say you want to sell Tavares. Dude, I do this every time. Alright, so you want to, yeah, say you want to sell Tavares. He goes for, I'd say around 30, hopefully. 30k, yeah, 27, 25. Alright, so you sell him for 25,000. 230k, you're down to. So you want to sell Larkin. So you sell them for nine. Alright, so 221,000. So what I'm saying right now is you get All-Star Game Sackick and 97 Vorchek for 221,000. At this very moment, if you get your All-Star Collectibles for 7k. Which, as you see, I just did. You just have to wait it out. So... At this very moment, I wouldn't be able to do the entire set. I would have to sell Sakic and find a place for Voracek and then sell whoever's there. And then I think I might do it. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to look to see what I can sell to do this set because I didn't realize how much you were able to make back. <coughs> Bork for 70k is a decent uh sell so so what i'm looking to probably sell <coughs> sell is either madano probably madano i that's if he's left-handed <coughs> that's the only person i'd sell kane can't be sold dude he's just too good for me madano's iffy so i gotta see how much madano goes for the mar on the market If he goes for about, All right, wait, remove him. So what happens? I need FS and RS. And then what was the other player? He was a Sackic. So, so I lose. I need two FS and an RS and a TN. Wait, anything else on the TN? No, and Silky Smooth. So I gotta see what these guys have for synergies to see if I can just replace them even like that. So I'm gonna guess Sakic plays for Colorado for his card. You never know. I'm not sure if you ever played for any other team. No, he's here. Okay. Alright, um, a 2LL and a TN and a HD. That doesn't help me. Um, obviously, I'm going to get him still. But um, where is Tampa? Tampa, Tampa. Why am I saying Tampa? Um, where is Philly? Philly, 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 Philly. I'm going to hope he has S and TN, maybe. And maybe an FS, too. That'd be great. Oh, damn it. I'll just look on up. Look at his synergies on the market. That's fine. All right, so he has an RS. Fills that out. He has a TN and an S. And CW, so that's fine. So I'm going to need to get rid of something. I'll look. I'll see what I need on Hut DB. When I, I'll do the, like, I'll get rid of players on my team because I already have my team set. We'll see what we can do.
So when I put them in, I need two FS it looks like. Got an extra CP. And I've got three extra L and two extra TN. So what that means I need to get rid of some LL people. Without getting rid of my synergy, so I can get rid of messier. Yeah, looks like Messier's gotta go. Maybe Sagan too. What coach do I have on? Let's see. I've got S coach, so. Alright, so I'll get rid of Sagan and Messier. So I need two FS and a CP. I'll do another video doing the set. At this point, I have to figure out my team. It's going to take a little bit. But thank you guys for watching this video. And my intake is, yes, it's very worth it to do this set. If you are, even if you don't use the, the cards, you can sell it. And I'm pretty sure you can make at least 100k profit. Peace.